Hi, I'm Olivia. Welcome to Houses Flipping People. So we're here today in Austin, Texas with one of our top real estate investors, Vanessa and Mike. Please come on in, let me introduce you guys. So nice to see you. you too. Yes, Good to Mike. See you. Hi. Thank you so much for being <laughs> here. You. So do you guys mind stepping into my office and we're going to do a little quick interview and uh, go over this amazing deal here in Austin, Texas. Okay. Please, love to. let's go in. Vanessa, you go in first. Okay, thank you. Yes, thanks for asking thanks us. Thanks for to be having here. us. Yeah, this is super excited. This is an amazing deal. I couldn't pass and let it be because this is right here in the heart of Austin. And I am so excited to to hear about it. So we are going to play a little drone that we actually made from your house and through the neighborhood. So now you can see the video of your guy's house. <laughs> that and we're gonna go over a little bit about the neighborhood and why did you guys chose to buy this property in this neighborhood and I uh, would like to know a little bit about the numbers uh, what did you buy what did you guys bought for what was the renovation and what did you guys sold for so we bought this in this neighborhood um, something you don't get in this neighborhood is a brand new house it's a lot of old houses a lot of historic homes and um, it's in the Peace Park area and yeah. the Peace Mansion is in this neighborhood a couple blocks away and it's minutes from downtown and the state capitol. And so we built this here. It was a tear down. We bought for 975000 Okay. And we tore down the single family home, about 1,800 square feet. And then we built 5,300 square feet. We have wow. 7,000 square feet under roof for how much was the build cost? The build cost was $2.3 Okay. Yes. And we sold it for $5.7 million that is fantastic yes. i'm so excited to be to be here and introducing this house to everyone and of the future that you guys build on this amazing house so tell me a little bit as we walk through tell me why and how did you guys chose all the futures on this house well we wanted the home to be warm and inviting so when you walked in you felt at home and you can a place where you can sit and feel comfortable and cozy so we used color we used wood tones to create some warmth yeah um so like the fireplace you saw we used some off-center details to create a little bit of interest this is i love this feature over here on the bathroom <laughs> yeah um, so how did you even came up with this design well that's mike's thing he loves lights so we did a lot of lights in here a lot of cool lights yeah i love the, that <laughs> I mean, we were looking for some way to kind of disrupt the, the bright light of the skylight. Yes. And that was why the wood slats are in the ceiling. Okay. To kind of just uh, diffuse the sunlight that would come through. Wow, that, I love that future. And which kind of wood floor is it on the house? This is a French white oak. Yes. We imported it from Italy. And that's throughout the whole house, except for all the tile and things like that. Wow. So now this is every woman's dream. Yes. I don't know about the guy, but this is every woman's that closet. Yes. Who, who had that vision of that so closet? That, that's his closet. Her closet is straight ahead. It's much bigger. <laughs> okay. I love this master yes. bathroom. So tell me a little bit about this master bathroom. So, well, we're in the shower right now. So that's a Venetian plaster wall. So it's smooth to the touch. And so you don't have all the grout lines of tile. Um, and then if you saw on the floor, we did the live hex edge yeah. to feed into the wood floor. And this is her closet, lots of options. And there's a closet for the washer dryer. So I love you, that. You can do your laundry in your closet by your bathroom. Wow. Yeah, I love that warm tower right there as mm -hmm. well. All the future in this master bathroom is like mm -hmm. to dream for. Tell me a little bit more about the design, the architecture of the house itself. So the house was designed by an architect, a local architect in Austin, Texas. Um, he does a lot of high-end projects, restaurants and things. So he was the designer, kind of a collaboration between us, him, and several others. That's what kind of came up with the design. Wow. So we wanted the design to be unassuming from the front. Yes. And a wow factor from the back. 
So it was a, you know, it's a single story from the front and then you can see right here, it goes down to a second story in the back. Yes, I love that. And that backyard is like in the middle of, you know. It was an oasis. So there was nothing to see going up because we couldn't get downtown views. Yes. So we built the house around the center of the back. So everything is focused inward. What do you guys like the most about this house? Would you like to be a real estate investor in Texas? Come to one of our free local meetings to get access to free training, wholesale properties, capital, and power teams. Click on the link below to find a meeting near you and register for free. For me, it's the stairway and looking from the outside. Uh, I don't know if we'd have a shot going into the stairway, but from outside looking in, it's pretty amazing. Your Feels. backyard is an oasis. Yes, I love kind it. Kind of like a big hotel, you know, you get into these really fancy hotels and that's what it kind of feels like. Vanessa, what is your favorite feature on this house as well? I love the master bathroom. It's like a spa experience. Yes. Um, here we have the pool bath, which was fun to do with the dark tile. And uh, I just feel like it's a very homey, warm, comfortable vibe and we put a lot of heart and soul into our projects and we live in the house essentially and we we like to create something artistic but yet functional so i love it uh, i love the barbecue and uh, on the, by the pool i it looks so open and inviting and makes you want to come in and throw a party yes so, right. great party area. yeah i love that and of course this kitchen is to die for when you guys decide to do it this to build this house in this neighborhood you guys probably one of the fewest ones that decide to build a brand new house to tear down the the old one right. why did you chose that the neighborhood has a lot of big fancy homes in it yes um but they're all older and if you want one of them you're going to remodel and you're not going to get a new home so tearing down what was existing here it was a smaller home we were able to build something that would fit the rest of the neighborhood and be brand new. So the owner, home owner is able to come in and have a brand new, nice, fancy home in the neighborhood that has other spectacular homes. And uh, it is a three car garage. It is a three car garage. You talk about the... Which is kind of unusual in this neighborhood to have a three car garage. So we do have that. And because we have it, the driveway is a little tight. So we put in the turntable to actually turn the car around so that you can easily and conveniently pull into the driveway, turn your car around and pull right out. And I love that future. How did you guys find this deal? It was through a wholesaler. Okay. Um, someone else in the, in the industry had it under contract and was looking for someone that wanted to do high end. And that's what we do. And did you guys have any doubt when you guys start looking at this project that this was the first one you look at it, this is it, we're going to do it. Did you guys have any doubt, doubt at the time, like any? Oh, there are some challenges. I mean, we're very close to the freeway. So okay. that's like, you know, should we or shouldn't we do this? The, you know, the topography made it challenging. But once we decided to go in, we were all in and it's just, there it was everything going forward. And what was some of the challenge that you guys found as you start as you start going through the, the the construction itself well prior to even starting was the development of the property so because of the drop it drops like 11 feet from front to back wow it was taught how do we actually you know design a home on a small lot this is only a, you know how many 14, square feet? 000. 14 000 square feet so it's a small lot to try to develop it and to use this property in the best way we could so that just was a little bit of a challenge. And on the architect side, they figured it out. And not just the architect, having you guys. Well, we participated in all the developments. So yes. yes. And lots I, and lots of meetings and discussions about what to do here. Wow, I think that's, that's great. How many people do you guys have on your team? There are seven of us on our team that's in the field. And Vanessa's in the office and everywhere else in between okay and <laughs> so uh, a total of eight so of you've been in the into the real estate for decades yes and so it's come from family generation how mm -hmm. many of your family member is working with you guys these days so i have six sons that work for me and those are all of our employees so we have no we have no other employees except my sons wow so that's and then we do sub out 
and we use a lot of subcontractors. Yes. How long have you guys been in business? So we've been in business here in Austin, Texas for 11 years. Okay. So we have been, uh, as an investor, probably the last seven years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Prior to that, I was just building, contracting, and being, uh, uh, doing the jobs that we do as a builder. You're doing all really the hard investing. work. Yes. Okay. Yes. How many years have you been in the field and the construction itself? I have been in the field since I was 15 years old, so a long time. Wow. Yes. So that yes. does come through family generation? It does, yes. Okay. So your dad was a builder. My dad was a builder. And got and you and into been, the industry. Yes. So I've been in it forever. Now, I have two kids. And just between the school and so on is a challenge already. I cannot imagine having six family members, kids, <laughs> listen to that. Or that word. How do you guys manage that, working as a family and boys? And how do you guys manage to, you know, do you guys hang out in the end of the day? Do you guys all have a, a great relationship? We actually because do, yes. I mean, it's been a lot of years of communication and working through everyone's personalities and finding everyone's place. Um, the youngest that works with us full time is 18. So they're out of school and they are, you know, this is their livelihood and their future. But how do you guys work together as a team and keep a smile in the end of the day? <laughs> I think for us, for Mike and I working together, a lot of years of communicating, of finding our roles and picking responsibilities and um, not crossing over those roles as little, you know, crossing those roles as little as possible. So it just helps us have things run smoothly and we take care of the things that our role is to take care of and constant communication. We talk about work all the time. Wow. <laughs> Which I, is okay, it's our life and we love it. So you mentioned that you started being an investor, what, how long ago? Was about it? seven years ago. Seven years ago. But you've been in the construction business itself for more, for 40 years. Right. Why did it took you so long? Um, part of it is not knowing exactly what to do or how to do it. Okay. So we did learn that here in Austin, how to handle. And how did you learn? I can't wait to hear <laughs> that. How, well, why did you guys decide to become an investor? Well, we knew there was more to it than just being the builder yes. or being the contractor. There was a little bit more on the other side and we wanted to participate in that. So I think Vanessa sought out uh, an investment group in, in the yes. area. The Texas RIA? Texas yes, RIA. <laughs> that's it, yes. Okay, and how did you find out about Texas RIA? Well, we were looking, we were working through some um, courses and another program and wanted to look for people who were teaching local yes. and we wanted to have people that we can work with locally and build a network here in Austin and have people that knew how Austin worked. It wasn't just a book that we had to read or a video to watch. There were actual people that we could call. Yes. We had phone numbers. We had contacts. To do what? To just answer the questions. Like, like how do we do this? Where do we get the funding from? Where do we get the money? Where do we get the people that resources that we need where do we find the realtors there's so much involved in it that we just weren't quite sure and then all of a sudden we were part of this network that had all the answers everyone on this show has one thing in common they learn how to invest in real estate from texas real estate investor associations texas reads whether you want to flip houses quit your job build your wealth discover high return investment opportunities or even learn how to buy rental properties even with no money you owe it to yourself to come check it out by attending a free local meeting it's fun it's free you'll learn a lot new people are always welcome click on the link below and we'll see you there now, how many other deals do you guys have here in Austin They're happening right now? We have about 10 addresses that we have in different phases of construction. Wow. Either planning, permitting, in construction, in demo, all different phases. Since you guys became an investor, now you feel like you're reaching your full potential. You feel like you are bringing your family for the ride, not just, you know, a builder, but as an investor all together. How do you guys feel with that? I mean, I f feel great. We are doing, you know, I do a lot of the acquisitions at the beginning and finding the project and funding it, finding the funds and acquiring the properties. And then Mike takes over with the build after it's been designed and permitted and he and the sons take it through construction. Um, 
And what we're really looking to do and what we are doing is building a legacy business for Mike's sons and something that we're building that they can take over. And so we're creating something that we hope to be in Austin for many years to come. Our network right. is tremendous, you know, and I, I think there is always a potential to even grow, not mm. just in Austin. Yes. And it's amazing that everybody's complaining. Oh, Austin, there is nothing I cannot find. And here you guys are with, you know, 10 projects going, happening right now. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. So this is awesome. So what would you guys say for anyone that was on your guys' shoes, you know, under 10 years ago? How'd you get started in the real estate? Would you guys recommend anyone to get started in the real estate? I would say that it's a lot of hard work, perseverance, don't give up. You get to, you hear no a lot. You hear, you know, a lot of people will say, I can't, but you can. You just, it's one of those things that you have to just keep pushing. And you have to learn, you know, kind of the ropes as to what is around you and who's and how it's done so you end up learning by the network that you're part of and with that group there's an answer for everything somebody has the answer within our group okay and that's what you have you have to tap those resources so do you feel like you know you have been in the construction for 40 years do you feel like now your kids are gonna go much faster the fact now they know the construction absolutely. part and they are an investor itself yes absolutely they're they're getting a big head start on uh, no. the construction part is kind of like driving the car you know which pedal do i push it's going to become second nature to them how to build a house wow now it's just where's the best place to do it how do i get the right funding where do i go with the you know what do i build on this lot you know how do i decide what to build what yep. a lucky kids, <laughs> you know, so to yeah. have you guys as a team and to grow together. Mm -hmm. I think that's, you know, it's, it's amazing. So, Vanessa, how about you? You being, you know, an entrepreneur, a female, and working with how many guys full time? <laughs> how do you keep that smile and like all put together like I got this? How do you, how do you manage that? Well, <laughs> I kind of have to find my... You kind of have to find your place, find your niche. And that's what I would tell other investors too, is finding your niche and bring, bring something of value to anybody else. And how did you find your niche? What would that even be? Well, I found out I was really good at design. So I do a lot of the interior selections and I'm also really good at um, research and finding things and figuring stuff out. So it's a matter of, you know, going out there and then I just don't kind of give up. So <laughs> that's kind of, don't think it could no be a good an thing or a bad thing. So it's, you know, when I'm looking for something and I need something, I will pound down doors until I get it. So, okay. and that's kind of what I do. And you love doing it? I, most days. <laughs> most days. <laughs> most days. So, <laughs> yes. By working with this amazing team yes. and you're, you're keeping up with them. Yes. And, and you're making magic happen because what you just did in this particular house here, it's beautiful. Thank it, you. It's, it's gorgeous. So congratulations. This Thank is you. just, what do you guys do for fun? We like to travel. We like to have all the kids over to play in the pool <laughs> in the summer. How do you guys find time between all this project and working as a family? And it sounds like you guys are super busy. How do you even manage to find time to go on vacation and have the energy for it? <laughs> so we're all in all week long, five days a week, 12 hours a day, we're all in. Weekends, we try to take off. Okay. So if it's Saturday and Sunday, we try not to do, unless it's necessary, those are our days off. Okay. That's where we kind of find our our time to have a break. Okay. And we, we do take vacations and we have a couple of the sons that are project managers. So they're taking, you know, they're able to run projects while we're gone. And um, we've also acknowledged that we'll have phone calls we have to answer while we're, you know, on the beach. But we handle it and it's just part of what it is and it's not that bad i mean they there, bad. done that <laughs> and some closing deals from yes. you know from mm -hmm. south beach Miami, or yes. even another country it's yeah. actually like huh i actually love my job so <laughs> it's not that bad right. to be making money but by the time i come back home all the bills is paid so right. it's awesome right. yes so well guys i really appreciate it 
you guys you know coming in and spend the time and showing this house to us and sharing you guys experience as an investor as an entrepreneur parents and i think this is awesome and uh, i'm hoping that anyone out there you know that has a question mark can find their net can find their network as well hopefully they will go to a local network and and really do the resource mm -hmm. and you know the way you guys found texas ria and um who do you thank you to get you guys here today is there anyone that you guys like to say thank you to well i mean i don't know can we say we would like we would like to say thanks to phil and chinoa because they have been a big part of our journey you know directly through so many questions answers their talks their paperwork their education there's so many things that we learned through that group and, and for people who doesn't know who is Phil and Chanoa, okay. they are the founder of Texas Re and yes. they have been here investing in Texas, learning the, you know, everything about Texas for eighteen years now. For pretty much two decades. So. And the network that they've built. Wow. Without the network, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of holes and everybody somewhere in this group has a way to fill all the gaps. And yes. that's been that's been a really amazing part about it. All right, is there anyone else that you guys like to say thank you to? Well, I want to thank Mike for, <laughs> <laughs> if I can. Of course. Just on a personal level of giving me the space to grow into the businesswoman I am and giving me the encouragement and the confidence to become someone that can do this and, you know, fulfill my roles in it and do a really good job at it. Wow. <laughs> That? And my sons too. Yes. My sons are a big part of this. And I'm really happy that it's not always easy to work for dad. <laughs> <laughs> and I know it's not always easy for them, but they persevere persevere for it. And, and the have... one day they're gonna look back. I'm I was so lucky that my dad pushed me in every single direction yes. for them to start this roller coaster and a much easier smooth ride yes. as they're going take over their lives mm -hmm. so that's awesome they sh they are going i'm sure they are proud of you guys and mm -hmm. you know not just mike but you being part of their life as well i think this is great this is awesome well i really appreciate you guys and uh, to truly to open up your guys agenda to to be here today and i'm excited for you know to, for your guys next project and so on We're so the share. Right. let me uh, so we are gonna go outside okay. right now and I have a little extra surprise for you guys okay. and uh, find your spot so this is how we um, we actually celebrate in Brazil can I have that plate for them please so this is a little <laughs> you know you guys have been flipped from oh, that's lovely. Thank you. Yeah, Thank that's you so us. Oh, so no, that's no. your guys. So, Thank you. Thank yes, you. and of course we have some caipirinha. Being Brazilian, you know that's how we celebrate in Brazil. Okay. So Fernando, can you can you give us some of the drink, please? Yeah. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> that's very good. <laughs> Are you in Texas? Would you like to know the secret for having a better life? Would you like to quit your job, create a legacy for your family, become a millionaire or even a multimillionaire? Over 80% of the people here in Texas who have accomplished these goals have used the secret. Hi, I'm Olivia. I'm the host for Houses Flipping People, a show that talks about the people's life who has been transformed by the secret. So what's the secret? Simple, investing in real estate. In fact, it's really, really hard to become a millionaire not investing in real estate. So, would you like to become a real estate investor in Texas? If you have even the smallest interest in real estate, and of course you should, the very first thing to do is to attend a free live meeting at your local real estate investor association hosted by Texas Rias. Are you living the life that you deserve? I know I am. So can you. We meet live in Austin, Houston, Dallas, and San Antonio on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. And we also simulcast our meetings live as well. Go to the link below to see the calendar and to register to attend for free. 
Don't buy real estate retail. That's ridiculous. And don't waste your time and money going to a get-rich-quick seminar from a traveling pitch man. Come network with local Texas-based investors that are just getting started or taking it to the next level. Come join the largest real estate investor network in Texas. Do you want a better life? Do something about it. I did. We meet live in person in Austin, Houston, Dallas, and San Antonio on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. And we simulcast online if that's more convenient for you. Go to the link below to see the schedule and register to attend for free. Come to a free local meeting to get access to wholesale, off-market deals, the finance to purchase real estate, free training, as well as the contract and contractors and other local resources that all investors need to be successful. Nearly 80% of the millionaires got there all or in part from investing in real estate. Come join us. New people are always welcome. Again, we meet live in Dallas, Houston, Austin, and San Antonio on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. Go to the link below to see the schedule and register to attend for free. I believe in working hard and, of course, playing hard and reaching my potential every single day. You don't need a lot of money to invest in real estate. You just need a little bit. You don't even need credit. What you really need is to take action right now. If you do, you really can live a better life. It worked for me and it can work for you as well. I learned how to invest in real estate from Texas Rios and so can you. Go to the link below to see the schedule and register to attend a meeting near you, live or online, for free. And I will see you there.